Scrappers, it's Vanessa here, and I thought for today that I would do a video and just talk about some of my plans for 2021 and some of the things I want to do on my channel for this year. And while I'm doing that, I figure I will just sort of sort through this sort of little tray of embellishments and bits and pieces that just get thrown in here and it has been sitting on my desk and so I'm just going to organize it into some color groupings so that I can put it away and kind of just talk about what I want to do in this next year on my channel and I don't have anything necessarily set in stone for the next year but um, I definitely have some things I want to focus on and I am going to take part in a few hops here and there and things like that throughout the year so I thought it would be kind of fun to do this video and since we're starting a new year and I haven't done one of these in a while I thought that I would go ahead and put this together and I'm using the audio with my filming um, I use a video streaming webcam so hopefully this is picking up the audio Pretty well and that you can hear me I may have to adjust the sound but hopefully everything works so like I said I'm just gonna kind of sort through these and um, go ahead and just talk about my plan I I'm gonna aim to not have this be too long but I do tend to talk so um, just to give you something to watch while I'm talking and so the first thing that I want to talk about is for the month of January for sure I am gonna play along with the hop that's going to be going on this month called baby gut scraps and that hop is all about using your scraps so your six by six and your um, six by six paper pads and your uh, just scraps from your stash along with one and in my case a piece of pattern paper and or two pieces of cardstock it'll be some sort of combination of that but putting layouts together based on that and so I will be playing along with that for sure this month and so be on the lookout for that they'll all have the same thumbnail of baby gut scraps on my channel so I will be playing with that I am also going to play along with uh, Sarah Scraps this month with one of her sketch inspired Laura Whitaker sketches. So I will have that coming up on my channel for the month of January. And then I have also recently joined or will be joining in hopefully with the uh, How to Kill a Kit with Style. So I don't know that I'm going to get something in for January. Um, but I do plan to play along with that series throughout the year so be on the lookout for that and that's just creating a kit and then playing with it throughout the month and sharing what you create with it by the end of at the end of the month so lots of fun there and throughout the every month I do hope to hop along with some of the other hops that kind of go on with different youtubers when they put a call out for people wanting to hop along. So I don't have exactly what or when all of those will be, but keep a lookout because I do plan to add those in this year as well. I am also going to, or I plan to, I should say, do a couple of different kind of themes on my channel this year. I want to I don't have specific days when I'm going to do the different um, things I have planned, but I do have a couple of sort of themed uh, ideas that I want to have for my channel this year. So one of them is going to be um, sketch inspired. So that is just like the name says, it's using sketches. And so I want to take Pinterest where I have saved several or not even several, like tons and tons of inspiration from sketches. And I don't use a ton of sketches, but I want to start using them a bit more. And so I am going to go ahead and um, 
plan to have a series that I plan to do at least hopefully two layouts a month where I pick a sketch and go ahead and create a layout based on that sketch whether I follow it exactly or I do my own spin on it. I will have that series hopefully coming to my channel here in the next over this next year and then I am also going to plan to do some cut file um, centered layouts so that will be sort of like a cut file concentration type of uh, layout and so I plan to do one or two of those a month so I'm kind of planning to call that cut file concentration that kind of series and that's going to run probably throughout the year and so I don't have set days when I'm going to do these videos it'll just be um, throughout the month look for the sketch and the cut file concentration and so I, those are two sort of ideas that I have for layouts for my channel as well as I have uh, I also want to do sort of a challenge type of layout at least once or twice a month and when I talk about challenges I'm talking about I'm in several different groups on Facebook and so a lot of those different Facebook groups issue challenges so what I thought it would be fun is that throughout the month each month I might pick one or two challenges that come up on those different groups and go ahead and create layouts based on those challenges now I'm not probably going to enter this specific challenge but I will reference where the challenge is so if you want to play along you always can but there's definitely plenty of places that issue challenges whether it be the hip kit or I know rediscover your stash has a sketch every month I have other groups I know Moira has one that will happen in the Mercy Tierra Facebook group I know that Nicole Jones I believe her uh, Facebook group is issuing challenges as well so there's plenty of places out there that issue challenges and so I thought it might be fun to have a series that runs throughout the year that is basically called Facebook challenge and so I'll just go to one of the different groups pick a challenge that they have issued that month whether it be for that specific week or have been in the past um, I will grab one of those and create a layout based on whatever their challenge is so be on the lookout for that so that is something else that I want to start to do on my channel this year so lots of fun things coming so I will have like I said the sketch inspired the cut file concentration the Facebook challenge and then just regular scrapbooking in amongst there as well as the how to kill a kit with style so big plans we will see life sometimes gets in the way and I end up having to focus on that a bit more than my scrapping sometimes so bear with me that's why I say I don't have anything per se set in stone just simply because I don't want to promise and then not be able to have it done because you know life kind of happens and the other thing I will tell you that I do plan to have on the 25th of every month throughout the year I do plan to do a Christmas layout so I know that a lot of people do December scrapbooking and then at the end of December they are done and they want to move on I am one of those people who likes to scrapbook Christmas all year I don't have any problem with it I'm not a chronological scrapbooker so I tend to jump around anyway with my scrapbooking and so I do plan to on the 25th of every month I do plan to go ahead and scrapbook a Christmas layout on the 25th I figure I will try to just at least from my channel's perspective only do one Christmas layout a month and have it be on the 25th and so that way if you do like Christmas scrapping you can check out my channel on the 25th and you will see a Christmas sort of related page happening on that day every month 
or at least as often as I can get one done. And so I think that is pretty much the main things that I wanted to sort of go over of what was sort of my ideas and thoughts for the upcoming year. So hopefully all of that will happen and you will see lots of content over the next year on my channel. And so be on the lookout. I know I have, I had, I'm filming this on the 31st. So I know I just put up a Christmas layout today. I have another one that is going to go up for the first tomorrow that is Christmas. And then I promise I, other than the 25th, I'm going to try to not do Christmas. I don't promise that it won't happen and that I won't sneak in a Christmas layout here and there. But um, those two videos are coming out. This one will either come out on the first or the second. And so then after that, start looking for the baby gut scraps layouts that I'll be completing. I've put several kits together for those. So be on the lookout for those. And then I have obviously the cut file and the sketches and the Facebook challenge. Um, all of those different uh, layouts or ideas for um, the next year that are going to come out on my channel. So be on the lookout for those. And like I said, this is really informal, really quick. Just I wanted to put something out there so that you kind of had an idea of what I'm hoping to bring to my channel for the next year. And I will also note that with all of these different series that I'm talking about doing, I am going to make sure that I bring in one thing that I am trying to focus on for the entire year, and that is stamps. So you are going to see that in just about every layout that I do, I am going to aim at pulling in my stamp sets. I have tons of them. And I really, really, really want to start using them. I've built out my stash and really collected a lot of them over the years. And I don't use them as often as I should. So even if it's just something small and I just do like a sentiment stamp like this or anything, I just want to be able to pull out a stamp and use it. So be on the lookout for that if you like stamping or you want to use stamps. I hopefully will have some ideas throughout the year of ways to use your stamps. I use them a lot in my backgrounds um, as well as creating embellishments. So if that's something you like, be on the lookout because that is a focus for me this year is stamps for sure. So with that, guys, I am going to sit here and finish putting my piles together. You can see I have to do some fussy cutting with some of these, but I am going to go ahead and do this. And guys, I will catch you on the next video. So be on the lookout for those new series that I plan to put in my channel in this coming year and we'll see el what else fun that we come up with. And with that guys, I will catch you on the next one. Have a great day everybody. Bye bye.